it's time to kit up Partners in Crime from Diamond Art Club. Welcome to Stone Magpie for this kitting up video. I've got everything on the table that I need, so I'll quickly run through what we've got here. We've got the sticker sheet with the pre-cut stickers. Of course, we've got the diamonds. We've got two boxes for the diamonds to go in, the new Elizabeth Ward style containers, which I've never used before, so I'm excited about that. We've got some Tic Tac boxes, because there are more colours in the kit than will go in this box. We've got some scissors, two diamond painting trays. I've got my book here, which plots all of the diamonds that I have in my leftover storage. And I use this for looking at the colour names occasionally. So we may well do a bit of that during the video too. I also have a glass of water, refreshing drink, and a few leftover sweeties, just to keep the energy up as we go through this video. <laughs> So I hope that you've got some refreshments too and let's get started. All right, we're ready to get started and I have had a little ponder about this one because normally I use Tic Tac boxes and ever since doing the big Josephine wall kits from Diamond Painting Deutschland that have more than 200 colours in, I've always kitted up according to symbol. So I would put all of the numbers together, all of the letters together, and the symbols in some sort of order. For example, all of the arrows together. Now I'm going to be using the Elizabeth Ward type storage. I'm going to be kitting up according to weight. So it's slightly different for me this time. So luckily, Diamond Art Club do have their diamonds in weight order so that makes it easier for me hooray <laughs> to get used to this kitting up process right i'm excited to get started because it's the first time i've used my elizabeth ward style storage i'm going to put my tic tac boxes aside because they will be used later on once the um, elizabeth ward is full I did buy this on AliExpress, so it's not um, an official Elizabeth Ward, it's the style of. Let's put the diamonds aside, pull in the storage containers and open the lid. Ooh, they're so gorgeous, these little pots. And as you can see, they have the different size pots in them. So we'll see how it works. All right. We'll get the diamonds out. Look at that rainbow. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. So as you can see, the stick sheet is in numerical order. However, the diamonds are not. So we're going to be starting with the fattest pack we have in this kit, which is 951. Get the box now they do lay flat so i think i'm going to be putting my stickers across here nine five one and i'm wondering whether i'll be able to pour them straight into the tub seeing as though they are so big so let's try that first Mm -hmm. This beautiful peachy colour. Oh, I've dropped them already. Oh no, easy peasy. You know, I'm always messy kitting up. <laughs> there we are. And as you can see, this big pot is hardly full at all. So that's good. On to the next colour. We have got 331 and I've got two packs of 331 so let's hope they all fit in. I'm confident that they will. I didn't expect to have double packs. Oh, 
these make it so easy. Because the lids are so wide, we don't need the funnel tray to get all of the diamonds in. Look at that. I'm loving it. Perfect. Right, we need the sticker on, which was 3371. we'll put in here and get the next big one out. The next colour is 814. Yeah, so as you'll see from the big three big pots already, the symbols are not in order. I wouldn't expect them to be either. So it'll be interesting when I'm actually diamond painting whether I can find the symbols <laughs> because I'm so used to having them all um, categorised. That will be interesting for me. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get used to where they are throughout the diamond painting. It's quite nice doing something different. I think I've got stuck in a rut with the way that I do things, so this is forcing me out of my comfort zone. <laughs> Just a couple of spills here. Pop those in. And again, loads of room in these big pots. I wish I'd got more of these um, multi-sized pot containers because they are fantastic. Might have to get some more of these. Okay, we're onto this smaller pot, but still we'll get lots in for our next color. Oh, wow, 947, look at that bright color. <gasps> Loving it, nine, four, seven, which is a cross symbol. Do you know, if I cut it that way, it might be better. Let's try, oh no, it's not. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, that was really messy. That is not a good idea to cut them slanted. <laughs> right, nine, four, seven, beautiful. Next one is, oh, look at what's next. Oh, beautiful, red AB, one, zero, seven, which is a number one symbol. Oh, just, mm, I can't wait to start diamond painting this kit. So excited. This was a, a limited edition Diamond Art Club picture and I know that it is sold out so I'm sorry about that. I'm hoping that you'll enjoy watching the process of me doing it. And don't forget that limited editions come up all of the time. So if you missed out on this one, there will be others coming up. So that is a positive thing. Okay, 319. Again, this is a double pack. So I perhaps should have looked at the quantities I just presumed that there would be one pack for each colour and of course there isn't. Sometimes there's double packs. So I'm hoping that my system isn't um, scuppered. So far so good. Ooh, lovely. Okay, three, one, nine. F symbol. Next one is three tens. Three, 
three tens, we can guess the colour name for three. Oh, I cut it and I haven't opened my pot. Ah! Um, three tens, we can guess the name of. <laughs> if you've done a few diamond paintings, you'll know what three ten is called. It is, of course, black. I'm loving these little um, containers with the big fat lid on. Perfect. Oh, I need my sticker. 310. And one more of this size for our 754. Let's put the sticker on first. 754. Oh, open the lid. Oh, I'm just getting too excited. I'll get myself into a proper order and calm down in a minute. <laughs> we will have a look at the diamond quality as well as we do this video. What's next? We've got, now you see, this is what I mean. I've got nine three nines next, but I've got a double pack. Now, I think I should have perhaps put those in this one. In fact, I'm going to change it. I hope that doesn't happen too often. There, so I've changed that one. So this is now 754. This is only my second Diamond Art Club kit and um, my first time using the Elizabeth Ward storage. So this is throwing me out a little bit, having these double packs. I wish I'd had a proper look at them before starting the video. <laughs> anyway, we've got 939 next. That was my overconfidence, thinking I knew what I was doing. <laughs> but as I say, you may well learn from me trying things out for the first time. And if you do, then it's all good. then I could use the excuse that I did it on purpose so that we could see these diamonds in the white tray there we are very sparkly they sit very uniformly I have got a couple of clumps here that's probably because I spilt them on my tablecloth and they've clumped together a little bit. But they are super, super, super sparkly. So, nine three nines. <laughs> oh, right, three three six. So with 336, I'm just looking at this one because this one came separate and I think it's a similar weight. So I'm going to do that one next. So you may well have to sort of have a little look ahead of your diamonds if you're using this Elizabeth Ward style storage. Just to make sure about those double packs. There we are, 336. Three, three, Next, 
we'll do this 3746. I'm not sure why that one came separately. Do you know, I'm, oh no, that's fine. I wondered whether it would help me shopping the whole thing across, but I, well, I want to try and keep these packs because if I have any leftovers, I want to be able to fold them and use them in my storage. So I'm keeping this on. I don't know. I might end up taking those off and trying it that way. Right, next, oh, beautiful pink, 3607. Perfect. Oh, it's oh, gorgeous. I will show you the container once I've filled up the um, all of the containers so that you can see the prettiness of how it's looking. Next is 552. And actually thinking about it, I might be able to still <laughs> symbol sort sometimes with the different sizes. I might look at that as well. I just cannot get out of my old habits. Um, so we'll have a look once this storage container is complete. I'd love to know how you kit up, whether you do it by number order, symbol, weight, because I do think um, people will have their own ooh, people will have their own systems for how they like to work. I'd be interested to know. Oh, this one's a bit that's better. It's a bit tight that lid. As I said earlier, I got into the habit of the symbols after the big Josephine walls because 240 colours, 250 colours, how, how else would you be able to know where the symbols were without doing them in some sort of order? And so that's where my habit came from. <laughs> 890. So these lids on the containers are easy to open and I just hope that they stay easy to open yet feel securely closed. So that's something we can check out when I start working on the diamond painting. They do feel firmly shut, which is great because they are laid on their side within the container. I wonder whether... If you'd put the sticker on the lid, whether they could sit that way round. I'm not sure, but it's nice to be able to see the colours. It does look better that way round from an aesthetics point of view. Oh, wow, that's bright. Nine, five, four. Woo! Wow. Oh, I'll open the lid. That's going to be part of Poison Ivy's face and her hand as well. Oh, exciting. So we're staying with this size container as we move to our next row of colours. 
Hmm, now looking at this, this was stuck in the middle. So I think this pack is a lot fatter than that one. So we'll start with this little short pack first. 498. Move that sticker down a little bit because it was over the finger guide. Beautiful red colour. This feels really fat. I think this is more weighty than those actually. <laughs> Again, because they were in the middle of the pack, they were probably supposed to go in before the others, but never mind. Ooh, it's quite full and I've got a bit of spillage there. Yeah, that is properly full compared to this one that I did just before. So I did them slightly out of order. I do feel a little bit chaotic <laughs> in, um, in what I'm doing, but I'm sure I'll settle down. I just It's something new with doing it by weight for me. It's fine. It's just a new process. tell you I am loving this big fat um, opening it does make it easy even though I know I am spilling but I think I'm just a little bit oh, you know a bit of excitement and a bit of um, nervousness <laughs> in whether I'm doing this properly Three seven five zero. I think once these bigger ones are done, I'll be more comfortable with this size because this is like the Tic Tacs. So probably at that point, we might start doing some colour guessing. This is 3750. A nice deep blue. And next we have a lovely turquoise colour, 3766, which is our P symbol. Oh, I've got the lid. <laughs> If you can hear the chicken in the background, that's not me doing sound effects for my calamities. <laughs> there are chicken in the neighbour's garden. <laughs> that's suddenly spring to life. Just going to have a quick look at this strip to make sure that I'm still on track with the weights. It's quite tricky to see the difference now, but these are wider packs. So I'm going to go with these ones. <laughs> Ooh, right. 3808. Oh, look, a turquoise AB, and look how superb those colours are. Might need to put this one on a tray to have a closer look at those. We'll put some in the containers, and then I will put some in the tray to have a look at, because they are oh, glorious. Let's 
have a look. Oh my word. Oh my word. Look how stunning they are. They're like little jewels. I think the chicken agrees. <laughs> oh, I haven't put my sticker on. Ah! 140. Next, 938. Let's put the sticker on first. Open the lid. Oh. I need to get myself into an order. Sticker lid, cut it open. Sticker lid, cut it open. <laughs> Next, sticker 991. Lid, <laughs> open, <laughs> yay, it worked. Oh, this is a fabulous, fabulous green. It's like um, a bluey green. Beautiful. Right, that's the end of that size container. So I'm just going to have a little look because, as I said, I might actually... I wonder if I could swap them round in the tray to do... Oh, no, because they wouldn't line up straight, would they? Right, what have I got? I've got some letters. I've got some arrows. I've got some numbers. Right, let's sort out symbols, letters, symbols, numbers, symbols. So we've got two lines. I just can't help myself, can I? <laughs> I just can't help needing to do this symbols wise. Right, so I've got some lines, arrows, and odd symbols. Then I've got numbers. I've got four and seven, and then I've got letters. C, J, L, P, R. Okay, I feel a bit better already. <laughs> and I'm probably gonna do the same with these little ones. I thought I might be able to swap them about, but they probably won't fit back into the containers properly with being different sizes. So. Let's continue and see what number is next. Oh, they're so cute, aren't they? Again, they've got the wide lid though, so I find it easier than the Tic Tac boxes with that wide lid. You can probably tell the way I'm kitting up. Three, two, one, countdown. We're on a countdown. Three, two, one. I tell you what, I'm finding, I keep putting the, the sticker over that little finger guard and I'm trying not to. Lid, look. Ooh. Three, two, one. This fire engine red. Ooh, okay. Oh, I did get a bit of a spill. It's quite... Full. So I need to try and get that little one in. We're like, oh yes, I can open it without spilling. There. Let's hope there's not any fatter packs than that now. Might have to do a swapsy otherwise. Next, 913. Again, another green pop of colour. Lid. <laughs> I forgot my system there for a while. Wow. Super bright. 
I'm going to call this bright green. I'm interested to know what the official colour name is for this one, so I will get my book out. So I'm just a bit nervous about the amount going into this pot. Just doing it slowly. Oh, it's okay. Oh. Yeah. So 913, I would say a bright green. Ah, this is a different one. Nile green. Interesting. I wonder why it's called Nile green. The Nile's in Egypt, isn't it? I wouldn't have thought it would be very green. <laughs> oh no, I've started already disagreeing with the names and I've only done one. <laughs> All right, let's have a little look at our 3765. Oh, well, that's a bit confused, that colour, isn't it? <laughs> 3765. I'll put them all in probably and then sort them out as I diamond paint. But yes, I think this one had a little bit of a confusion whether it was supposed to be blue or pink. <laughs> oh, that's so tight in the... Ooh. They are going in, but they're and the lids have like little side bits on so I have to sort of scrunch it down <sniffs> did you hear that click though it does feel secure right three seven six five next I'm on to my next row I think that's the right one so one two one <gasps> Another pretty AB. Whoa, beautiful, a beautiful purple AB. Oh, wow, I just love those colours. <gasps> oh. I can't remember where on the picture the purples were. Was it in the floral background? I can't remember, but they are going to be stunning. Next. Oh, this is so much fun. 209. Tell you what, I am a very messy kitter upper, but these, I know I'm spilling a few every now and again, but these make it so much easier. I don't feel I'm spilling as many as I normally do because with my Tic Tac boxes, I tend to put them in the trays and then pour them in and yeah, it can get a bit messy. Whereas these, I don't have to do that. This kitting up is becoming a lot quicker than with the Tic Tac boxes for that reason, because normally I'm pouring it from the packet to the diamond tray and then the diamond tray into the container. So it's doubling up the work, I suppose. Um, whereas this way, I'm cutting out that middle step. It's brilliant. Five, five, zero. Bid. Royal purple, I would call this. It is that regal purple colour. Let's have a look at what 550 is. 550. Oh, it's very dark violet. Okay. I wouldn't say that's violet, would you? Oh, actually, when you think, yeah, maybe. Although... For me, that is royal purple. 
741. I think this will be something in the pumpkin family. 741. Although saying that, it would be a very bright pumpkin. <laughs> Seven, four, one. Uh, tangerine, medium tangerine. I bet I could have guessed that one if I thought about it properly. It is more tangerine than pumpkin, so yeah, I'll give them that one. <laughs> Three, eight, one, five. Now these colours, these two colours here, look very, very similar, and yet they are completely different numbers. So I think we're going to look at the names for these and see what the difference is. Starting with 3815. So 3815, okay, is celadon green, celadon green, whatever a celadon is. <laughs> What's <a> celadon? <laughs> okay, well, I'll have to believe them because I've, anyway. Oh, what is a celadon? Anyone know? I can't argue it because I don't know what it is. <laughs> 367. Oh, that's funny. Okay, three, six, seven. Oh, I am messy. I am messy. There. Okay, what was this number again? Three, six, seven. Let's hope it's not a celadon again. Oh, three, six, seven. Aha! Pistachio green. Dark pistachio green. You see, I, I know I always argue with the pistachios because it's not a pistachio colour, that is it. Pistachio green's like a pale, if you think of pistachio ice cream. <laughs> It's not that colour. It's more of a um, pistachio colour. <laughs> this is more... For me, um, it's got a, like a blue-green to it. It's a very pretty colour. I think this is the colour that I can never name. But it's a very pretty green. I'm just going to call it pretty green. Right, 400... Four hundred. Going into a brown this time. And I'm going to say dark gingerbread. Oh, I always get this wrong. Dark mahogany. I don't think that's dark enough to be a dark mahogany. If I think of dark mahogany, it's browner and darker. <laughs> Gingerbread all the way. Nine, nine, two. Nine, nine, two. A lovely, lovely teal green. I think this will be classed into the turquoise family. I think it might be dark turquoise. Nine, 
Mm, okay. Light aquamarine. No. No way. Aquamarine, well, for one, I would say maybe an aquamarine, but definitely not light. I would say that would be a dark aquamarine if it has to be in the aqu aquamarine family. Hmm. Seven, four, two. Seven, four, two. Now this is as bright as our earlier tangerine. So should I go medium tangerine? Let's go medium tangerine for our 742. Oh, well they've said light tangerine. Anyway, I did cheat a little bit because I, I thought it might be like the earlier one. <laughs> Cheats don't beat. <laughs> five, five, four. Oh, cute little anchor symbol. And a very, very gorgeous lilac. So I will say medium lilac for 554. Okay, it's light violet. Ooh. 604. Has to be bubblegum pink all the way and I know that's not a name so I know I'll get it wrong but I'm sure now on, on my earlier videos when I guess the names I'm probably not saying the same names as I do <laughs> in previous videos but that to me is bubblegum oh yes definitely what do they call 604 I have a feeling it's something very strange yes it is Light cranberry. Now I remember this because think of cranberry sauce on your turkey dinner. No, <laughs> it's definitely not that colour. Bubble gum. <laughs> Three, seven, seven, eight. Mm. So this is in the brown family. But it's got, it's got a pinky orange to it. Pinky orange. Hmm, what can I call that? Ooh, this is a tricky one, you know. What do you think? Oh, what could I call it? It's like a dark nude. If you think of a lipstick, I would think that was like a dark nude lipstick. Obviously, that is not going to be the name. I don't think they would call it that. <laughs> Light terracotta. And actually, yes, absolutely perfect. Terracotta, yeah. Think of your garden pots, yeah. All right, they win that one. Seven five eight. Okay, this has got a similar tone, but it's lighter and not as pinky. I don't think it's going to be in the terracottas. Let's see, 758. <laughs> Very light terracotta. Do you know, I think I'm rubbish at this game now. <laughs> we'll see them both together. Oh, 
Okay, right, what's next? 300. Okay, this is brown. So it's definitely going to be in a brown family. Hmm, it's a nice brown, that one. Let's have a look. Okay, mahogany, very dark. Well, you see, I would call that mahogany, but not very dark. Next, 162. Turquoise. Actually, mm, no, I've changed my mind. It's not turquoise. I think it's just baby blue. Baby blue. Although, no, the baby blue in the book is a green. <laughs> so, 162. Ah! 162 is light baby blue. Ta-da! I got one. Well, I know I didn't say light, but it's, it is a baby blue. Yeah! <sighs> right. 3818. Just as I was about to give up on the game, thinking I was rubbish at it and getting a sulk on, I got one right. Woohoo! 3818. Lovely green. Oh, it's quite bright, this green. Mm, I think this is a forest green. Ah, now, yes, I agree with this one as well. Well, nearly. Ultra, very dark, emerald green. Now, the bit I disagree on is it's not ultra, very dark, but it's definitely emerald green. Beautiful. 700. This is a bright green too. I think this is going to be in the emeralds as well. So I'm going to just say emerald. Some emeralds have blues in them as well, like bluey green. So um, I'm just going to say emerald. <laughs> oh, 700. Bright green. I said it was bright, didn't I? Bright green. As simple as that. 317. It's a grey. Now I know in the book there's steel greys and there's pearl greys. I think this will probably be, oh maybe there's pewter as well. Um, hmm. I think it's more steel but it could be pewter. I don't think it's in the pearl family this one. Three one seven. <laughs> oh, pewter grey. Oh no, I'm not doing very well, am I? I went steel, not pewter. Anyway, I was close. Close, but no prize. Three eight oh seven. Ooh, 
tough little one to open that. 3807. Mm, look at this beautiful purple. Oh, it's gorgeous. I think actually it's got a blue in it. So it's like a purpley blue. I'm going to go forget me not. They are gorgeous. Okay, 3807 is cornflower blue. No, I disagree because I think cornflower blues are more blue. Forget me not. Definitely. Seven zero two, a little clover, a lucky clover. Wow. What a green. You see, I would have called this one bright green. This one is like a bright grass green. Look at that. <gasps> right, 702. Oh, this is a new one. Kelly green. Kelly Green. Who's Kelly when she's at home? <laughs> oh, I want a name. I want a colour being named after me. Lucky old Kelly. <laughs> right, on to the last strip. So we've got four, four, five. Mm. Got some very pretty rainbow colours coming up. I mean, we've had lots of pretty colours already, so it just goes on and on and on. It's a beautiful kit. What can we call this one? It is such a delicate yellow. I'm just gonna call it delicate yellow. I know it won't be right, but that's what it is. All right. 445 is actually a light lemon. Yeah, all right then. Yeah, a light lemon. In your gin and tonic, perfect. <laughs> One, five, five. Another purple. Pretty, pretty purple. I can't think of a name. Oh, I know. I was going to say hyacinth. Hyacinth. Maybe. 155. <laughs> All right. 155 is forget me not blue. Forget me not blue. Personally, I don't think it's blue enough for a forget-me-not. Next. <laughs> 3804. Wow, look at this pink. Oh, it's lovely. Wow, it's beautiful. 
<gasps> Look at that. Lipstick pink. Okay. Cyclamen pink, dark. Yeah, because we can get some really beautiful cyclamen pinks. A beautiful colour there. Right, that was the last one of the little containers in here. So I'm, again, I'm going to try and sort out my symbols a little bit. And see, arrow, arrow, that's an arrow. We've got a line, a line, a line. I'm gonna call that a line, a number, a line, letter, put that there. Star, planet, clover, divide, a number, Okay, so I think I will put the numbers in first. In fact, oh no, you see, I want, I want my numbers there. Two, five, eight, nine. Then letters E. T W Y. You see, I really want, oh, I really want to swap them out so that the letters are all together and the numbers are all together, but I can't. So next we'll do lines. Arrows and hash. Where's that divide? I'll put that one there as well as a line. And that one as an arrow. And then we've got our pictorial symbols at the bottom. Right, so they're in some sort of order. They may all swap about as I go, you know. I wonder, are they double the size of that? No, not quite, no. Okay, so that will have to do. And now I go to my Tic Tac box for the remainder of the colours because in my Elizabeth Ward storage, I've got 50 containers and there are 67 colours in the kit. So I'll be using 17 Tic Tac boxes. Okay, uh, right, so I will need my tray. Five, one, eight. And to make sure that they sit really nicely on the lid, I cut off the numbers because I don't use this number 23. So that will be discarded. And I will just put the symbol on the top. Like that. 518. Lovely, lovely, lovely blue. Seven forty next. So again, cut off the number. And stick this on the lid. A bright orange, this one. Wow, very bright. I'm going to look up the, num the name for this one, 740. It might just be bright orange. Oh, it's not. It's tangerine. Pure tangerine, a juicy orange there, very lovely. Eight three two next. Hmm, 
I'm not sure what this colour reminds me of. <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> I do know. It's back to baby poop, isn't it? I think it's going to be in the olive family. <laughs> but it definitely reminds me of baby poop. 832. Golden Olive. I thought it would be part of the olive family. And yes, actually, Golden Olive, because it has got a gold. It's like a goldy mm, olive. <laughs> 898. might have stuck there okay 898 is a very very dark brown Ooh, look at that 898 is very dark coffee brown do you take your coffee that dark I suppose it's like an espresso isn't it mm. oh I could just have a coffee right now I've got a glass of water beside me. Take a little drink. Cheers. 783 next. So this is sort of um, an orangey brown. Interesting colour this one. Oh, 783 is medium topaz. You know, like the gemstone topaz. Medium topaz. Mm, okay. Oops. Oh, look, we've got an AB. One three five, a lime green AB. just so beautiful mmm absolutely gorgeous there isn't that many of them for such a big picture so I wonder where they're going to sit mmm maybe in her hair I can't really remember where the ABs were on the picture so be a nice surprise when I'm painting it three seven one Put them all on my table then. <laughs> right. Three seven zero six. Oh, that's beautiful. That's definitely watermelon. I think we'll have a look at the name of this one. It's either going to be watermelon or coral, I think. Let's have a little look. There's a friend in there as well. That could be the watermelon pip. Yes, definitely watermelon. <laughs> 
Well, three, what number was it? <laughs> 3706, medium melon. Woohoo! And we've even got a pip. Yeah! We got another one right. <laughs> That's funny having a pip in it too. Yeah, we got that one right. Seven three eight. Hmm. What colour would you call this one? For me, it's like the froth on a cappuccino, <laughs> but I don't think it'll be called cappuccino froth. I like that name though. I'm going to call it that. It's actually very light tan. Very light tan. Hmm. Next, <laughs> 340, another superb purple with a hint of blue again. So, are we back to our cornflowers? Forget-me-nots. <laughs> wow, that's gorgeous. 340. Okay, it's a blue violet medium. Can't argue with that one. Oh, look at this next colour. Oh, 3851. Oh, that is fabulous. I'm going to say bright teal for that. Look how bright that is. Ooh, it's lovely. I wonder if this colour is in the rainbow. I wonder if it's going to be that bright teal. Oh, mind you, there's not many of them. Oh, let's look at the colour first. Light bright green. Light bright green. What do you think? I think it's more turquoisey, but turquoisey teal. Beautiful. Three seven seven zero. Now this one is reminiscent of the cappuccino froth. So I think it's going to be in the tan family again, although mm, it's not exactly tanned. <laughs> That's probably me trying to get a tan. <laughs> anyway, I'll see if it's even in the tan family. All right, no it isn't. It is very light tawny. Very light tawny. a very pretty colour that one. Nice, right. 703. Not many in these packs now at all. Seven zero three. A bright green. Okay, seven zero three is officially 
chartreuse. Chartreuse. Hmm, I wonder if that's French for something. Might have to look up these couple of names. There was cellar, cellar something and chartreuse. 301. Anyway, chartreuse, I'm sure it means something. 301. Look how many, just a diddy amount in here. Come on, you can join the party. There's not many of you. And it's medium mahogany. So that's three mahoganies we've got now. Three colours to go. Seven, zero, four. Ah, now I wonder if that's something to do with chartreuse as well then, because that was seven, zero, three. So we might be able to cheat on this one. And get the answer right. So I'm going to guess <laughs> light chantreuse. I would actually probably say light green. I would probably just call it a light green in normal, but I think I can cheat and say light chantreuse. 704. Oh, it's bright chantreuse. Right, chantreuse. Never mind, we were close. <laughs> Two lovely pastel colours remaining. 3824. Uh, 3823. 3823. Another really delicate orangey creamy colour. Mm. Lovely, lovely colour. And its name is Ultra Pale Yellow. Yes, it is ultra pale. It's very delicate. It is beautiful. Last one. Three, six, nine. Oh, sticker first. Three, six, nine. Such a delicate green. It's nearly a duck egg bluey green but it's not bluey enough so I'm just trying to think what I would call this mm. maybe peppermint well it's officially a very light pistachio green there we are very light pistachio green I don't really agree with that, but anyway, that's the last one, so I won't get grumpy. <laughs> and I'm just going to do a quick symbol sort, just to try and get them in some sort of order in here as well. So they are triangles, that can be a letter, number, letter, letter. And I'll probably shove all of those ones together. We've only got one number. So, oh, and it's that beautiful AB. Put that number there. Arrows. And then we'll sort the letters out. That can be an A. E. G. O. J, K, L, M, N, O, K goes before that, M, N, O, and then S, and U. Oh, 
Well, I'll tell you what, we'll take the number out and we'll put the number on its own. Right. There we have it. Oh, we are all kitted up. Yay. Ready to start diamond painting. Oh, I'm so excited. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And the start of the canvas and what a way to start. Starting in the top right corner with these ABs. They are spectacular. So, so good. And they're sitting lovely and flush, much closer than the last Diamond Art Club I did. I'm loving this diamond tray. It is more solid with higher sides. They sit really well, just brilliant. And I'm also loving the cover minder that comes with the kit. And it's just brilliant. I'm loving it already. Stay tuned for more whip and chats on this diamond painting. Oh, it's exciting! And it'd be interesting to know if you would kit up quite similar to me or whether I'm just a bit weird with it, sorting out the symbols, etc. <laughs> I don't mind if you call me weird. So do leave me comments below, do consider subscribing and do enjoy your own diamond painting. Until next time, take care everyone. Bye!